Talok survived the Amor strike? We cannot let this monstrosity stand between us and Gahun. So this might be a horrible idea. But to get into this a little faster. Yes, I queued up as a, a healer. And apparently we had to requeue because I guess some people left. Oh, hold on. We're actually just already getting into this. Okay. Now, fortunately, I'm not going to have to talk to shoulder the entire load of what's going on here. Now, of course, right now my interface is bugging out. Hold on. This is a bad Why time to do this, but... but right now, I'll discuss this a bit more. In fact, we're actually doing really well, it seems. Watch way. Four, three, two, one. Run more. I'll go over a bit more about these bosses. So, yes, I did use Raid Finder to do this, and when I tried to do this as a DPS to make it easier, I was in queue for about 45 minutes. In fact, it was longer than that. And so I was like, okay, forget this. I'm just gonna... Let's go ahead and pop Bloodlust. Obviously, I don't really know the mechanics of this fight since I have only... This is my first time ever going into this raid. But then I tried queuing as a healer, and as, as you can probably expect, it was a much faster queue time. Entering Things change. Oh boy. Oh boy. What are you Gosh, I wish they would help out Resto Shaman. I really wish they would make it better when it comes to, like, the cast times and such. But hey, fortunately, Raid Finder makes you have to have five healers. So, fortunately, there are four other healers here that can help help me out in terms of dealing with stuff like that. What are you doing? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What are your joints? Ah! Oh what my gosh, joints? it's all over. It's everywhere. Whoops. Ugh. I did not want to have to queue as a healer in a raid I've never been in before, but the fact that there were gonna be four other healers here made me feel better about it. I'll go over the lore in the adventure guide for these bosses a little later. Since obviously it's a little hard for me to go over that while I'm trying to focus on keeping people alive. Thanks, oh please. my gosh! I guess this is when I should have waited to pop my bloodlust. What are your joints? What are your joints? Ah! Oh my gosh. Watch wave. So, in... What I found is that in Raid Finder, Four, three, it has you two, queue for 18 one. DPS, 2 tanks, and 5 healers. And I actually think that's a very uh, nice... An amount. Some would probably argue you don't need that many healers compared to DPS. I would argue argue that, especially in a raid like this, where this is based around rot and damage over time, because we're dealing with Gahoon, and if the enemies in Nazmir target your friends, it's stuff like this, yeah, you're gonna need lots of heals, because I'm pretty sure people would be dead right- oh my gosh. I need to- That and I am out of mana. <laughs> Watch wave. 
Yikes. So that was Talik, the Titan Keepers. Hold on. People are asking, hey, does anyone need this? I didn't pay attention to what was getting dropped. Ooh. Like, well, that's only 340. I would only get that for the transports. Hold on. No, oh, we, we still have some trash coming for us. And yet here we have a ton of trash just coming straight for us. Wait, did people leave? Yeah, some people left. So we it's requeuing us to have some people join. Fill in the gaps in the group. I don't know why my rate profile thing does this where it includes enemies here. I guess that in case it wants me to click them to damage them, but I'd rather it didn't. Oh, hi, Mother. <laughs> I am the matron of tenacity. Cleansing purge. Sanitizing okay. strike. Three, two, one. What your spying flame? I can't tell you how glad I am that there is a druid healer in this group. I'd much rather heal with my uh, druid or even my. Oh gosh! What you Whoa! Or my monk compared to my shaman here, and someone died. Let's also keep in mind shamans don't have a battle res. Three, Druids two, have battle Three, two, one. Watch your spine flame. Druids are so ideal right now because they have AOE heals, single target heals, mass res, single res, and combat res. Yikes. Two, Three, two, okay, I was one. Not really paying what attention that much. Playing? That was my bad. I think I'll probably just wait until this is over to go over the the lore of these care of these bosses in the adventure guide. Three. Since two, obviously we're a little strike. busy. Three, two, one. Three, two, oh gosh. one. What you're spying flame. Resistance to extreme. This zoom. Sanitizing strike. Three. Oh, two. One. What you're spying flame. Resistance to extreme. Wait, are they trapped in that other room? Did the raid get separated by a by a wall? Sanitizing strike. Three, two, one. What your spying flame? Sanitizing strike. Three, two. What's your spying flame? Cleansing purge. Oh gosh! Three, two, one. 
I'm well, pretty sure if I reincarnate right now, I'm dead. Samples for study. Sanitizing strike. Three, two, one. What your spying plane? Resistance to extreme heat. How are you supposed to avoid that? Were we? Was there a time period where we were supposed to go through that wall? Maybe that's why that happened. That portion of the raid was over in that. I don't know. I don't. I never saw when they got over there. Two, one. Well, if I was playing DPS, I should kind of like pay attention more to what's what was going on. But when you're healing, you're kind of like just looking at everyone's health bars. You're trying and focus when the caster heals. If you're trying to keep them alive. One. What's your spying plane? Fifteen percent. Alright, the Titan Keepers enacted countless systems to attempt to maintain any breach in the facility. One. Their most powerful concept was Halo. Kept a watch for any signs of corruption in the region and ruthlessly excised any two, that he found. One. But as thousands of years pass, its internal defenses began to decay, making it vulnerable to corruption. Alright. Facility systems compromised. Proceed with caution. What oh. is this place? Designation Origin. This research facility was designed to contain and study the entity known as the Bean. You have been keeping that abomination alive? Why? Collection of data is imperative to combating the old gods. The Hoon's unique biology potentially holds the answer to eliminating their Run. threat. Blood shield. Blood have shield. You heard that? Answer? Negative. Data inconclusive. Our tools of research models are being developed. And are scheduled to be deployed into Blood shield. We do not have that kind of time. Gahoon must Run. be stopped. Now, in order to destroy the facility, we must be able to locate the consoles located throughout the screen. Activating all consoles will grant access to the human's vaults, where the specimen may be purged by activating the real- I wish I could just follow her and just get the story, but... We have a plan. Activate the consoles and put an end to Cahoon's plague once and for all. Blood shield. Watch your shield. Oh gosh, that was a lot of damage just now. Blood shield. Blood shield. Run. I don't expect any loot that drops here is going to be better than what I already have because the stuff that I've been getting on world quests like 375 stuff is like definitely higher than the stuff in this raid which is like one which is like 340 stuff. So I'm not necessarily looking to get loot from this. There could be some interesting appearances I could get, but then again, the the armor sets from Old Deer are just boring and dull. Like I showed, I've shown you guys some of those sets, and I just, I do not like them. I really don't like any of the generic sets that they have in any of the BFA raids, including the new Eternal Palace sets. There's nothing you class unique about them. They're all just generic armor type sets. They're like designed for the raid, or rather for the armor type, and for that specific raid. But they're not like the ones in Legion where they were designed for your class, not for your armor type. That's why many of us prefer going to those raids in Legion, because some of those armor sets were unique to your class, and they looked, some of them looked awesome. Alright, so there's a lot of, you know, 
different directions I guess we could go here. So keep in mind, uh, the, we queued up for the first wing and Raid Finder, which is the first three bosses, which is only now Talik, Mother, and Fetid Devourer. This is a comprehensive collection of Titan knowledge. These discs currently contain 50 megabytes of biological data on known life forms throughout the cosmos. So get used to seeing Mother, because she will apparently become a more relevant character later. Oh boy, here they come. I'm sure some of you are just there there's I'm sure there are some of you right now that are watching this that perhaps are seeing how I'm doing as a healer and are just groaning. I don't blame you. I don't I've never one, I don't necessarily pride myself on being a good healer. Though it really depends on which class I'm playing, because as I as I am saying again, I just I don't like Resto Shaman right now. I heard it was better in Legion. I don't really I'm not entirely sure about that. Why is I was trying to cast a heal and it for some reason it wouldn't work on that guy. I don't know why. Wait, Mind Slave? Is it because he was Mind Slave and was an enemy and that's why I couldn't heal him? And we had to kill him? Oh gosh. This is this is like the Yog Saran fight in Old War, isn't it? Or like in Encourage, where that first boss would mind control you. Well, that sounds great, doesn't it? Or like a uh, what's her name, the Vampire Queen from Ice Crown. Yeah, that, that's that's great. See, we're having to now kill any teammates that fall under that instead of heal them. Oh gosh. I'm guessing the boss is coming now, right? Yep. The Herald of Nazoth. Unzuth. Are you serious? Hey, that mounts! First is 5,000 on the auction house! Oh, someone already hit hit Bloodlust. Hey, if, if, if other shaman here actually know this fight better, by all means, go ahead and hit, hit Bloodlust. Void Lash. Pretty sure they will be able to get more of this than I will. Go ahead and drop that just to help out. What's your stand? You will be eradicated. Spread soon. Five, four, three, two, one. Because I'm using Raid Finder, Void Lash. we're gonna have to separate these wings and such. Void Lash. Unless there's a way for us to just continue in the raid. I again, this is the first time I'm ever actually trying Raid Finder, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. Like, will it tell us, hey, you did the first three bosses, Phase now you two. stop? second cast. I really wish I was... <sighs> I can't tell you how much more 
better and fun it feels to play other healing specs in this game right now than Resto Shaman. Resto Shaman's like, all right, I'm casting, casting, casting. All right, you finally got your heal. Compared to other specs like the, the, our Druid, for example, was able to just throw down the AoE heals, put the healing dot on them, so it starts healing them over time. Now, yes, they do lack some bursting heals, but there are ways to kind of make up for that with if you get the talent that lets you have two charges of Swift, so that way you can have just that extra quick burst heal. But, like, I love on the Monk being able to just keep casting uh, Soothing Mists, like, on my tank, just to have him just keep constantly getting healed, and then be able to use some of my other healing abilities uh, to be able to do some extra AoE heals and such. Watch your step. You will be eradicated! Uh-oh. Phase 3. Throw that down over there in that area. Feels like this guy is a bit of a DPS check. Considering he's just standing there, we're just having to kind of just wail away at him. Not really, it doesn't really seem like there's that many mechanics to him, other than that big AoE I just saw just now. Other than that, it just seems like just wail away at him. Got my healing totems. Whoa! Interface issues. I love this heal though. Zoom! Just everyone that gets hit by that wave. Beat the following bosses in the first section of Old Year. Alright, so I guess you do that. And then. Oh, hold on. I doubt I'm gonna be able to actually scroll up. Because. Yeah. Place. Yeah, see, it's all going away to make room for the new text. Find the old gods. Cahoon's unique biology potentially holds the answer to eliminating their threat. And have you found the answer? Negative. Data inconclusive. Alternative research trials are being developed and are scheduled to be deployed in 2,364 cycles. <laughs> we do not have that kind of time. That <laughs> Cahoon must be stopped now. In order to destroy the specimen, you must reactivate the evolved consoles located throughout this wing. Activating all consoles will grant access to Gahoon's vault, where the specimen may be purged by activating the rear origination drive. We have a plan. Activate the consoles and put an end to Gahoon's plague once and for all. Okay. Now entering the data vault. This is a comprehensive collection of Titan knowledge. I guess now is a good time to go ahead and read up on these first three bosses we just took out. So I thought we were taking on the Fed Devourer. Nope, we took on this guy, but we'll get there. So let me finish this one. But as thousands of years passed, its internal defenses began to decay, making it vulnerable to corruption. Is anyone actually asking anything? No. All right, ne never mind. Mother. Who is this mother construct that we have found? Aldir's titanic watcher was gifted with tenacity and an insatiable desire to discover a solution to the old gods. Her protocols have remained fully intact even though other systems in her facility have collapsed. Warning, Mother will not accept aid from contaminated subjects. Because remember, the Titans see us as corrupt or contaminated. Even, I mean, just because we're not the ideal specimens that the Titans see. Remember, if, we, if they sense any void corruption at all, and keep in mind some of us priests have void, void energy within them because some of them are shadow priests, and they'll be like, oh, you are corrupted, go die. Remember, Titan thinking, Titan mentality. And so, this guy, Zegvok, or I'm sorry, Zekvaz, Herald of 
Nazoth. Or Nzuth, if you go by how they said it in Dragon Soul. Shortly after the Sundering, a dark messenger arrived on the fresh so shores of Zandalar, intending to bring the newly isolated tribe into the service of Nzoth. Zekvaz was prepared to entice, bribe, cajole, corrupt, or simply kill them, but he was not prepared to encounter the defenses of Aldir. He was captured, studied, disassembled, and stored in the Titan's archives, where he has waited for a chance to escape. Text players, while the compromise, Titan discs come online. Strike random targets, Titan sparks periodically. Inflict substantial damage to all party members, in addition to the lethal damage within each eruption. Ready to tell enemies, and if it lands. Okay. Well, I'm the only one here. Everyone else left. <laughs> Alright, so let me see if there was any other dialogue here that we should catch here. Alright, so he yelled Ikul Zerakish which translates or I guess is a whisper, which translates to Lesser creatures must serve or die. Then he said, You will be eradicated. I don't think he said any other dialogue during the fight. Does not look like it. All right, so let me exit. If you're curious, I was actually in Orgrimmar right before this. I was actually going to the auction house to see if there was any other gear I could get that could try and boost my stats, make me more effective at healing, knowing that I was about to get into this raid as a healer. So I found a couple more pieces. I'm now up to 376. So grab this to try and give an extra nice little benefit to my... Uh, heals. It was only 10,000 gold. I was like, oh, that's really cheap, actually. I'm up to 49 with my Heart of Azeroth, so it's 376. Got a lot of this stuff to drop while doing world quests, leveling up my Honorbound rep. My rings are not very impressive, though. I'm really hoping to get some better rings, get a better trinket here. So, by the way, Full mythic set from Hellfire Citadel. That's what I'm rocking now. The entire set. I think I also got this shield from Hellfire Citadel. Basically, a kind of a warlord's look here for my uh, resto shaman right now. So, cross between Hellfire and Citadel and Blackrock Foundry. So, ooh. Oh. So, I actually got a... <laughs> I got this. I never used it. All right, I'll just hold on to that for the moment. Is regular use in radical experimentation within the cursed facility? Hmm. I'll hold on to that. That's a nice little buff to have. But apparently, I also got this. The city crusher sabatons. I don't even remember when I got those. Whatever. Alright, so that was the first one. Yeah, you've already looted. So, halls and containment. So, and you, it'll show you what bosses there are. So, the next wing is the Crimson Descent, which is the Fended Devourer, Vectus, and Zul. Yes, Zul. So, more than likely, I'm going to have to be a healer again because, well, filling up the slots for healer compared to DPS is obviously far easier to do. And it's a good thing there were four other healers, because I'm pretty sure we would have wiped had it just been me. Especially for that that uh, first or second fight where I went out of mana. That's another thing. I feel like, because I feel like at times if, there, if lots of people take damage, I have to keep casting Chain Heal to get it to spread to other people. I can't just cast healing way because that's a single target heal when many people need to get some heals so i find myself having to cast chain heal a lot more often but look at the mana cost this is only 1800 mana this is 5000 mana per cast so need to use wellspring that's 4000 mana 
Having to use downpour, 3,000. Healing rate is 4320 mana. This is only 1,000 mana. It's nice AoE healing, but it's a 3 minute cooldown totem. I just, I don't like the heals these days on Resto Shaman. Healing Surge, of course. Very quick cast, 3,800 mana per cast, though. But again, that's only if you, if, if you have to worry about single target heals, it's completely fine. But with lots of AoE multiple target heals, it's a good thing there are four other healers because Resto Shaman is not good right now. So I'm going to cut it off here and we will be trying to get into the, the second wing, the Crimson Descent of Old Deer, when we come back. Stay tuned.